Hey, what's up everyone? Tim here from Everyday Tactical Vids, and today I want to show you the Minuteman Rocket Stove. So it's set up behind me on a table. I'm going to give you a full rundown of the stove, how to use it. We're going to actually do some cooking with the stove today. So let me readjust the camera so you can see the stove and not my face. All right, so here's the stove. I got my setup here. I've got my wood, some fat wood. What I'm going to cook is underneath this uh, piece of paper. But let me give you a quick rundown here. So it looks like an ammo can. You're going to unlock this and open it up. You basically got two pieces inside. You have the damper here and then you have the rest of the chimney. So you take the chimney and put it up top like this and then you put the damper down in here. Because I'm gonna really get this thing uh, cranking, I'm just gonna take this out for now and we'll just leave it out of the way. Um, the, nice, the nice thing about here is the whole system is in like, you know, basically three pieces. It's in a can, it's not a ton of pieces to put together. I got a similar type of stove, stove from BattleBox a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. And it works well, but it really is. I mean, it's like a jigsaw puzzle to put it together. This, boom, boom, and you're ready to go. So, um, you're looking at 14 pounds for the total weight. It's definitely not a backpacking stove unless you got a mule that you're carrying stuff with uh, who's carrying gear for you. But the idea here is that great stove. You could take this, you know, for front country camping, car camping, definitely an emergency stove. Um, it's nice enough to depend on propane or other types of fuels. You're using wood to get this thing going. So that's a look at kind of the basics here. What you're gonna do to get it started up is the way it works is you wanna get airflow coming down in and then back up out of the, uh, out of the chimney here. So we do have uh, this, there's, I believe there's some sort of ceramic. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is basically heat up the, um, the chimney first and when that gets good and hot, again, it's just gonna suck the air, the fresh air in and then it'll suck the, uh, the heat up and put the smoke out here instead of out of here. So you don't want to overfill the chimney, but you want to get the chimney warmed up. And so I'm just putting a bunch of sticks in here. Again, this is like just, you know, sticks I picked up in my yard. You don't want to use a ton of huge sticks because you're going to basically crowd out the, um, fill it up so much that you're going to eliminate the ability to have airflow in there, which is definitely not what you want. So what I have here also is some fat wood. And if you use the code EDTV, you're going to get the stove and you're going to get fat wood and you're going to get a fire steel like this as well about to basically a $40 value for free and you're getting free shipping so all that together $40 value this thing's 14 pounds so you can imagine it's not super uh, cheap to ship it so I've got some fat wood I'm just gonna put this in here now to help get the um, to help get the fire started I got my fire steel here I've got a mora with a 90 90 degree spine but I'll actually show you how to use the fire steel real quick so I'm gonna actually see if I can hit this uh, fat wood down in, get that started. Yep, so that's burning. Let me readjust the camera so you can see how it's burning down in there. All right, so as you can see, I've definitely got a nice flame going there. I'm gonna start feeding sticks in here at about 45 degrees. You can see a little flame down in there as well. And so the general process is just feed in here and the heat is gonna come up. Nice heat coming out of the, uh, the top there now. And I've got over here some kielbasa and I'll wait till that gets uh, cooked well and get a little, uh, little more of the oils and grease on the, uh, on the pan here and then I'll crack an egg into that. So that kielbasa is pretty well cooked, so see if we can add the egg in here, like so. Well guys, today it's Everyday Tactical Backyards, so I'm going to take my food off of the stove, we'll talk about the meal, and then obviously also about the Minuteman rocket stove. All right, so I've got my tactical oven mitt on, and um, the cast iron skillet is hot, the stove is hot, just be aware of that. I mean, it's 
it's an open flame, it's metal, it's gonna get really warm. So don't be flippant about the level of heat that's coming out of there. Um, this is still so hot, I can hear it sizzling right in front of me. So I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit and then after it does, we'll have some, uh, have some late lunch, early dinner and we'll talk about, the, uh, talk about the stove. I did a video about a year ago. It was uh, a bushcraft breakfast and I used the cast iron skillet there and I cooked the eggs first and then tried to cook the kielbasa after. And somebody said, like, cook the kielbasa and then the grease and the fat will help keep your egg from sticking, which is totally true. So, I can't remember who left that comment, but that, that rocks. That, that definitely made a difference. What can I tell you about the stove? Let me just be honest with you guys. Um, when I first talked to the founder of the, uh, the company here and uh, he was going to send me out a uh, stove for review, I was like, yeah, cool, I'll check it out. A little bit skeptical about these, you know, put, the, put them together fire stoves. Um, and then I saw the size of it and I was like, wow, that thing's really hefty. But I will tell you, as far as like a, I'm not gonna throw it in my backpack and go backpacking with it one, but like a bug out or an emergency or a front country camping rocket stove, that's the best one I've ever used. Solidly built, um, easy to transport, it's in a box basically. Um, open it up, put the chimney on top, add the flu or the um, damper if you want to, which I didn't use the whole time, and then it rocks. And once you get that uh, chimney heated up, it really, I mean, I didn't have any smoke. I used, you know, sticks the size, the width of my pinky at the thickest. Um, try to get pieces maybe, you know, a foot long, a little bit, maybe a little longer, maybe say 10 inches long, eight inches long, so that they don't fall down in, they kind of stay resting at 45 degrees. That thing rocked and that, it cooked fast, it cooked efficiently. I'm really, I'm really quite impressed. Um, let me just remind you again, if you use the code EDTV, you get free shipping, you'll get the fat wood, the Maya Fatwood, and there's like probably, I'm looking at the bag over there, probably 20 sticks in there, and the nice fire steel. So you get a lot of nice things included with that. Um, yeah, the cost for the stove right now, at the time of this video, is around 200 bucks. Uh, they had a sale recently, I think it was 20% off, you know, so you're saving a nice chunk of money there. Um, but I'll put a link down in the description section, and again, that code EDTV, if you wanna pick one of these up. Um, I've used the, the tiny little light emberlet, the tiny little light ones. Those are great for like camping because they're very, very small. Um, you can't put anything, you can't, you're not gonna get a massive flame out of that. This one definitely puts out more heat. Um, I've used a couple other larger ones like this and this I would say is the best one I've used. Um, and I really like the fact that it's in a box. The other ones that I've used have like multiple parts. They're, they're almost as big, they may even be bigger, but they're just a lot of pieces to put together. And I don't wanna have to do a jigsaw puzzle when I'm trying to cook after, you know, a full day out, hiking, camping, even just driving. If you drove all day and then you got to your campsite, you don't want to spend hours putting your stove together so you can cook something. I love the fact that these types of stove use wood, stoves use wood, so it's not propane, it's not alcohol stove. I mean, those are all fine, but it's nice to just be like, boom, get some wood, go. And you don't have to split a ton of wood. It's literally just twigs in my backyard that I got to make this, uh, make this thing happen. So yeah, definitely a thumbs up. I mean, it's an investment. Looking around 200 bucks, you're gonna save. Uh, money if you use the code EDTV and then you know when they have sales you can certainly save some cash as well um, But as far as like something that you could use camping emergency bug out. This is definitely a, a cool a cool product um, Your major challenges are gonna be your weight and your cost I think but function functionally I'll just keep looking over here because that's where it is functionally it worked great I don't see any issues with it. So um, if you've used one of these stoves I'd love to hear from you guys if you if you've used other stoves like this other rocket stoves or you know, the small stoves that you assemble and then you feed wood into them. Tell me about your experience with them. Uh, like I said, this is the best one as far as like a big hefty one that I've ever used. Um, but I wouldn't use it for, you know, lightweight camping if I was going to be trekking 10 miles in the woods or something. So, yeah. Uh, nice job. Nice job. Minuteman Provisions, I think is the name, the official name of the company. But the Minuteman Rocket Stove. Definitely a win. Let's, uh, let's hear your thoughts and your comments down in the comment section. All right, guys. Thanks as always for checking out the videos here on YouTube. Please subscribe to Everyday Tactical Vids if you haven't done so already. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, check us out on Instagram, Tumblr, and Vero as well. More videos coming soon. Take care.